biscuits. Why are we sad now? Hey, how's your day going? Are you having a rough day like this toddler? Tell me, what can we do? Do you want some milk milks? Sometimes toddlers have a rough day, you know? So I thought I would talk about how to organize your emotions. Do you have anxiety? Do you suffer from depression? Do you think the world is maybe a dumpster on fire? <laughs> All of those are normal feelings. But I think as there was some blurring in there, just so you know. <laughs> I think as um, as a mom, it's really easy to get bogged down in negative feelings because you're dealing with needy children all day who are literally just pulling at you all day and then emotionally are pulling at you all day. Yes, yes, I love you, Strudel. So keeping my emotions organized in the sense that I know what I'm feeling, I know what triggers are going to be bad for me, and I know what triggers are going to be good for me. Number one on that is knowing when you're going to be touched out. So look at your emotions, you know, like a file folder and have that filed for mega triggers that you really need to keep your eyes out for. And for moms, that is going to be being touched out. I mean, if you can imagine having somebody like this tug on your chest all day long and need your attention, physical touch is going to be something. So I have a thing where sometimes I'll say, you know what, guys, I need five minutes where nobody touches me. Play on the ground. You can be right next to me. I just need I just need a moment to catch my breath and I'll, I'll I'm very honest in that. I'm like I love you all so much, my biscuits, but I need to I need to just have a breath. And kids are really understanding that like kids understand that parents reach their limit, that parents are touched out, right? If you can explain it to kids, it doesn't mean they're gonna be patient with you, but they're gonna give you a second because they don't want mama to be, you know, upset or stressed, right? Like kids, even as young as parents, are super understanding of emotions. Like uh, shockingly so. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're gonna eat the monkeys. Is that your plan? Your plan's to eat monkeys. <laughs> so have it in that organized file folder, metaphorically, of your emotions. Um, where you are really understanding what you're feeling, which is the same for teaching a toddler to understand what you're feeling, understanding what the good and bad triggers are gonna be, and staying on top of that. Because when we're organized, it lets us stay on top of whatever being unorganized, right? And that goes for our feelings too. Because yeah, because it's easy to have a lot of big feelings, isn't it? What do you think? How many big feelings do you have a day? Do you have a lot? You have a lot of big feelings a day? She says she has a lot of big feelings a day and she also eats a lot of fuzzles off the ground. Uh, Mommy's constantly taking fuzzles out of your mouth. Oh, you're gonna take the pillow? Don't take the pillow. I like the pillow, it's got little pretzels on it. <laughs> so just think about being organized with your emotions and how that can help your family. Are you somebody that wants to be organized? Hi, Strudel. By um, oh, my, oh, by keeping literal file folders or a weekly planner guide? Are you somebody that is going to be more loose and rolling with it and you just need to know in the back of your mind what it is you need to be emotionally prepared? That's going to be different for everybody. So know what organizational tactics and skills you have and that you can use. Don't put pressure on yourself emotionally to develop new skills you don't have. Just Go with what works for you and for your family, right? I am somebody that is, thank you, my darling. Would you like to take a tick a tick a some of the facey massager? Yeah, you put your lotion on it, you put the massage massage. I am somebody who needs to write things down. I just do for my brain to survive, for me to emotionally cope and be mentally, physically, and emotionally organized, I need to write stuff down. And that is not true for everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't let it boop us. Don't let it boop us. Uh <laughs> So find your skill set. Know it. Don't try to develop a new one. Mama, you are busy. Daddy, you are busy. You go with the skills you have already and use them to organize those emotions so that you know how to process your feelings, how to lessen triggers, and how to be happy. Because that's the goal, right? That's something I talk about so much on here is being happy. Yes, being happy. Sometimes your happiness is going to come by throwing all the pillows off of your mama's sofa. And that's going to be your joy. Like maybe that's where your happy bliss lies. But when you're organized, you know where your happy bliss lies and you can find all the pillows to toss. <laughs> okay, Biscuits, um, I was going to make this into a longer video, but I don't think that's going to happen because there's a wild, crazy toddler in my life. 
Yes, I really love her, but I'm gonna have to eat her. Roast her up and nibble her. Barbecue and cheesecake her. That's what I'm go- Whoops! That's what I'm gonna do. I love you, Stuart. Okay, my biscuits. I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this little short mini video. <laughs> and that it inspires you to go out there and get your emotions organized in a way that works for you to make your life happier. <laughs> Hi, Strudel. Hi, I love you. I love you, favorite Poodle. <laughs> okay, I will see you over on my homework channel. I'll see you over on Instagram, of course. Don't forget, like and subscribe, because that's all you buy. Thank you. That's always a good thing, so that you can see all my next videos. Love y'all, Biscuit.